Hello everyone, welcome again and going to continue the Java web application development tutorial and this is the part 9 and tutorial 9. So in the last tutorial you have seen how can we use the navigations and how can we redirect one page to another page using HTML with the front end. So if you're gonna now if you're gonna click on the login page it will redirect to the login using servlet text registration and we already linked the contact and about us I guess about this is not done yet and go to him still the home page is JSP let's let's let's, let's, let's link the home page also so it's going to be So if you're gonna see this, it's still calling the home.jsp here. So let's change it in the servlet or we can leave it as it is and we can jump to the next topic and which is the database connectivity. So how can we perform the data database connectivity and before we start the database connectivity, just check the utility package that we are going to continue and under the utility package, we will create some class. So let's create a util package and then move to the next. So let's open codec.com that's going to help us to grab the code. And here we have some playable classes like the first classes we have data validator. And this will be our data validator class. And Let's discuss some uh, data utility classes. So we are going to work on some util classes that will be our custom class. The first class will be data validator and the second will be data utility. Third will be servlet utility. Next one will be data source. Database connection. So here we will create the data data validator to validate the upcoming data. The database whatever the data will come from the front end. Somehow we need to verify the data. So we'll uh, create we'll, we are going to create a data validator data utility to convert the data in one from one form to another form so we're going to keep some labeled the methods here in data utility that will be responsible for the conversion and the servlet utility is going to forward or um, redirect the request so and the next data source we are going to uh, create some database connection code here so let's discuss them one by one and in some upcoming videos let's discuss these classes then we'll move to the database connectivity part correct so what is data validator and why we are going to use so uh, some at the real time scenario when I for example if I'm going to register as a user I'm going to enter some data here so for example if I enter this uh, text as a name like John okay. So if I enter this name, this is the valid name and it should not create any problem at the back end. But for example, if you want to enter it like this or some special symbol, so it might be create a problem at the back end. So I have whenever user going to enter some data from this input field, I have to verify this data. So to verify this kind of data for every and each field, I have to uh, we created some data validator input field. So, for example, uh, I want to validate some input field. So here I create a method and this is going to check is that particular string is name or not. So the method says public static boolean is name and it will take a parameter as a string value and perform a regex on this uh, to verify the valid name and if uh, that value upcoming value match with this name 
then it will return true otherwise else it will return false similarly it will like verify the text field it means the name and the last name and some same kind of field this with it where we need to verify the only text somewhere we need some password combination so we will create a method password to verify the password to verify the phone number verify the date input field and null input field uh, validate the email fields so this is the complete data utility class here i think it should be data validator data validator okay in this class so let's create another class uh, under the util package uh, before that we need to create a data utility package so in the same src main uh, the java we are going to create a package which will be our util package so let's create a package so right click on the project go to packages create package and enter the project name and the u t Okay. So you can simple name it like util package. Or I can say the name Did it work for me. Okay. So keep all the letters uh, as a small for the standard uh, as we are going to follow all the standards so just keep it like this and utility just click on finish you can see the new package is created under our src main.java folder now just right click on this and create another not an interface this time we need to create a class so we need to right click and click a class the name will be data validator so i'm going to use the same name so it will not create a problem if i'm going to copy or paste some data some code and click on finish so you can see a simple class is there which is called data validator under this validator we will create we are going to create some methods so so i'm going to no, i'm not going to write the code so it will take a lot of time so i have the trivial code and so i'm just going to copy this will explain some methods to you and also will provide the link in description or uh, somewhere as a reference so you can check the code and you can copy it like this so if you can see there is some errors and Let's comment it out for now because uh, we need some data utility class here. So uh, most probably we'll discuss data utility in next uh, uh, video. So then we'll comment it out. <coughs> now the purpose to create this class is to create some validate methods. So I'm going to use remove this code. Okay. Let's remove this. So the first method is there. It's going to validate the name. So just validate the name or any text field, text input field for a simple string and this is the rule number if i want to check like uh, it's performing the regression uh, rejects operation so this rejects operation says a to z like the string can be uh, in a capital letter from a small a to z and a small letter a to z that it will not accept any uh, integer number or any special character otherwise if you user going to enter the special character or integer number it will return as a false the next method is there as a is rule number so it will take a, a string again and if is there any number then it will only return true otherwise it will return false so here we can say this method is going to work to validate the rule number
and for example here the next method is there uh, which is going to validate the password so there is some combination that we create we, we create a regex that going to contain some combinations so you can see uh, it will accept the first letter as a, a to z so it will be validate password and the password will be like demo at the rate 1 to 3 so you can see uh, the first letter will be uh, capital so say a to z also it can accept all the letters a small a to small z and it will uh, accept some integer and some special character and the length should be 6 to 12 minimum length 6 and the maximum 12 okay so if the string the upcoming string this string value will match this regex then only it will return true otherwise it will return false so let's comment it out just remove the comments and here we are going to validate the phone number so i'm going to enter validate the phone number again uh, it's phone number So uh, it will take again a string as an input and verify the number is phone number or not. Sometime we need to verify the null value. So if user for example there is a possible scenario that user is not going to enter anything in the field and just simple insert the data, submit the data. So in this case the null value will come from the input field. So we are going to verify if the value is null or not. So let's see here and it's going to validate the null values. The next is not null. So there is opposite case this value is not null or not. And similarly is integer the particular value is integer or not and is long or not. So we are going to verify the data one by one is email same. And here we will verify the validity uh, date. So we'll comment it out and we'll explain the data utility so it will be clear to you. So now if you want to see the output and purpose of this method, let's see uh, some output on the console. So to check the, the uh, quick output, I'm gonna create a main method here and uh, let's execute as a main method. So for example, I want to verify this is name method. So for it, like his name will take input as a string. So for example, I have a string value. Uh, so we can a string value equals to uh, equals to I'm gonna enter my name be Pendra or just enter the code one here. Code one and let's call the is name method so I just call this name and pass the value and let's return let's 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 directly print it so out and this method we are going to print this method and just enter some message here So let's uh, run this as a Java application. So it will show that it is a result in the console. So when I run it as a Java console, so you can see the value is true. It means this is the string is name. It can be a name. But for example, if I enter here one two three four five six, I'm going to save it. And if user is going to enter this number, this time it will show as a false. It means it's an array number so this is the main use of this for example let's call the password method instead let's take another example and just call the password method so and when you call the password method and enter the same value as a password let's see the result let's run it again it's a java application so it's false so if i enter some demo at the rate one two three and then this time it should be written as a true so you can see it's returning true 
it means so this this kind of check methods that we are going to use in an entire project so we create a common class data validator that better and it contains the lots of validates methods and whenever we need to validate the data uh, in the whole in the entire project and we'll call the same same class and we'll create the object of same class and call that method directly so it will be verified to validate the complete uh, data of the complete input data of the project so this is going to be help us a lot and in next video we'll discuss about the next next class next utility class which will be our data utility and then we'll continue for the servlet utility and then data source then we'll move to the database connectivity at the real time thank you